it is a hot day out here in Thackersville, Oklahoma. And I am heading towards uh, Texas. Actually, I'm supposed to be down here already, but a um, lot, of, lot of issues that just happened. A lot of issues that happened, and I can't, I, I just can't. I just can't. Hmm. Whew, just can't, just can't, just can't. What's going on, guys? What's up? How y'all doing out there? Lockout men in the truck on the 30 for this podcast today. Today is Sunday, March. Two months down, 10 more to go. This decade just started two months ago. <laughs> two months ago. And we already... We already down two months. Have you have you done your uh, your resolution? I guess you know we all do it every year. Every year we have a New Year's resolution. Oh, we're gonna get back in the gym. Oh, we're gonna get back the savings. Oh, we're gonna do this. Oh, we're gonna do that. But did you start already? Did you start? Have you started already? We're already two months down this march is a big month for 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 graduates if if the kids is graduating this year this this month of march is a big month for them uh would um homecoming or is homecoming already done what is what is next prom 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 is done in March, right? Or is it May? Uh, see, I, I've been out of school for so long, I can't even tell you what was, when was, and how was it. I mean, I came out in June. You got kids coming out in the month of May. It is hot. It is hot in here. I mean, the sun, it got to be at least... About 60, 67. But there's a breeze that's coming in here. And I'm trying to keep the noise level, like, down. You know what I'm saying? But it is hot. So I might have to, might have to, might have to turn on the AC in this piece. Or better yet, I might not be, I'm, I might not be on long. <laughs> I might not be on long either because I want to get out here and enjoy this weather. Well, I already enjoyed it. I I I already enjoyed it. Actually, I think I I think I I I think I pretty much messed up though. But your New Year's resolution already two months down. Two months is already down. So did did you start on your New Year's resolution? Did you start saving? Did you start making that plan for whatever? That you want to do, that you said back up in jank at, at the end of at the end of December, twenty nineteen, when you said at twelve o'clock, this is my New Year's resolution. Did you start it yet? I could say that I started mine, but it's unfortunate that I'm not following it. People that seem to know that knows me personally, they know. That I haven't been following it. I got to beat myself up to follow the plan, to, to follow the script that I have scripted. I got to. It has to be done this year. This year for me, it has to be done. I can't tell you what it is. I can't tell you how it is. I just know for myself personally, it has to be done. December 2020, I got to see progress. That's the thing. I got to see progress. You have to see progress. The progress you have to make. So did you, did you, did you make it? Did you make it happen? 
Let me know in the comments below if you if you if you made it happen. Check it out, y'all. We're gonna we're gonna respond. We're gonna have some fun today. We're gonna respond to some comments. Uh I went to my man's channel. Yeah, yeah. I, I went to my man's channel right here. This popped up about a while back. This is what, on February 24th? And my man says, why should you be a trainer in trucking? But that's that's the title. But what he's actually saying is that you should be training for the money. Now, I, I'm, I, I, can, I can agree to disagree with, with my man right here. I can agree to disagree. Um, training should be something that maybe you should be a little bit passionate about. Training should be something that you would want to do, and it shouldn't be for the money. If, it should, if it's for the money, then you shouldn't get in it. You shouldn't get in it at all. My man, though, this, this, this guy, my guy right here, he says that you should get in it for the money. If you want to make money in trucking, you should jump into training. Now, I do agree with him when he says that uh, two years, a year, two, maybe, you know, that's, that's the bottom line. That's the, that's the bottom part right there that people should get into training and – that should give them enough time to know the company that you're with and have the experience to pass on to the next man, right? Don't I, I don't think you should do it for the money. I don't know. I, I, to be honest with you, you should not do it for the money because if you're doing it for the money, it's just going to be messed up. Now, a lot of trainers, I, I, I know this. In my five years, I noticed that there's a small, a smidget of percenters out there that are company drivers that are trainers. The rest is the rest is lease drivers. It's a lot of lease drivers that are training. Why? Because they want to add on some more money on top of what they make it. They figure that, hey, I can make I can make I can make an added profit if I start to train. Now let me say something. The companies is gonna come to you. They're gonna say, yo, Johnny, check this out. I got I got an offer for you. Yeah, you do? What's what's the offer? I, I got an offer for you. I tell you what, this you want to know how to make more money in this game? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm listening to how to do this. Now, mind you, you're like six months in. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking from experience, by the way. Just, just saying. The names has been changed to protect the innocent, okay? So, Soprano called, called, calls up Johnny and say, Hey, Johnny, uh, you're six months in. Are you ready to make some more money? What? What you talking about? What you talking about? I don't want to. What you talking about? Well, I got an offer for you. Here's the offer. You come train for me, and I guarantee you, you get more money. Now, right now, you're already driving, and you're already experiencing that you're not getting the miles. You're not getting the money. You every every time you ask for loads that pays, they come back and tell you stuff like, "Oh, well, we ain't got no money, we ain't got um, we ain't got no loads. You gotta wait. You know, we're still looking for loads for you. Yada yada yada." But, but if you come to train for me, oh, I can guarantee you a load every day. All day. And here's the good part about it. Here's the good part about it. While that trainee is in your truck, you will get paid for the miles that they drive, the time that they're in the truck, and you get paid they upgrade. So if they upgrade, that's an extra $200. And if they stay, if they stay on, you get 
about five cent extra in your in your cent per mile. So if you're making thirty four cent a mile, and you train, you you got an extra what thirty four, thirty five, five four. 39 cent a mile extra for every person that you train. That's an additional five cent that's added on to your cent per mile. Think about it. You train three people, that's 15 cent. That's damn near 50 cent a mile. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. All right. I'm just saying that's what was told to Johnny. All right. That was told to Johnny. Johnny came back and told them, and they Johnny said, yo, I, I don't think so. I'm only six months in the game. I, I really don't know the company all that well. And, you know, I, I want to I make sure that I get my feet wet because I'm new. I'm six months. I'm brand new. But, Johnny, this is how you make money. You call me up every day talking about why, why you're sitting and I'm giving you this opportunity to come on out and do the damn thing. So come on and train for me. <sighs> Soprano, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm only six months. I'm, I'm, I'm the blind leading the blind. That is the problem. That is the problem with the establishment right now. The establishment is... All these people that y'all bringing in, but y'all don't have enough qualified trainers to train them. You're training or you, you orientation, you have an orientation once, sometimes twice a week. You're bringing in 20, 30 people and y'all don't have enough qualified trainers. So what you're going to do is trying to entice me to come in and train. Do something that I'm not that that I'm not comfortable doing, and you 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 want to you want to entice me in because it's for the money. See, that's what happened to that's what happened to Johnny's trainer. The first trainer that Johnny had, he was a lease driver, brand new, brand new Volvo, pretty inside clean, the Cadillac of trucks. Nice Volvo, but he was a nasty motherfucker, though. He was nasty as fuck. I mean, seriously, he was nasty. But the Volvo was nice. It was a manual. You know, Johnny, you know, Johnny didn't know how to drive a manual. Not all that great. You know what I'm saying? He was learning himself. But the, the trainer that Johnny had was brand new. Brand new. So Johnny was brand new to trucking. And the trainer was brand new to training. Brand new, fresh out the box. I mean, just. <sighs> this is some good training right here. So, Johnny and the trainer. Brand new. Didn't work out, though. It didn't work out. The first couple of weeks was all right, but. The, the the trainer for Johnny, it didn't work. It didn't work at all. You know, he was he kept getting in the hole. He was behind in payments because he took off like a week. The truck payment was like a grand a week. And the trainer showed Johnny his 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 settlement. Like, yo, bro, this is this is this ain't working for me. I gotta figure out what I gotta do. I thought if I got into training, I would be making more money, but it ain't coming. So they asked Johnny, you know, six months later, they asked Johnny to, to train, and Johnny was like, no, I can't do it. It won't be done. Can't be done. But my man right here, though, he says it can't be done. You should do it. You should get into it. You should do it. I don't know. Trucker or trucking with low shine parts. Now, he says, I approve this video. TB is telling the truth. 
The ones that making the most money in truck driving, I mean, trucking as drivers, is the ones that are training. It's the most money I made in trucking as a driver, hands down. Now, it probably is. If you know what you're doing, you asking a, a, a three-month, four-month driver, brand-new driver, to train, it's like, it's, it's like, it's, it's like this. Let me, it's like this. I'm, I'm in a hospital. Nah, nah, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, hospital. You getting ready for surgery. You getting ready for surgery. And you got the doctor and his two, uh, what, what do you call, what do you call the train, like uh, residents? Residents or something like that. You got two residents coming in here. And the doctor tells you, um, hey, what I'm going to do is I'm about to go and I'm about to go on the golf course right quick. I'm about to leave my two trainees here and they about to do the surgery. Man, uh, wait, hold, 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 hold up, bro. How, how long? Well, wait, well, they got to get their feet wet somewhere. This, this will be their first time doing open heart surgery. Op, open heart surgery. They they gonna do open they gonna they gonna crack open my chest and do surgery on on my heart and they never did it before. Where are you gonna be at? Oh, I'm gonna be on a golf course. No, uh uh, no no, stop. Uh uh, it ain't gonna happen. But I I gotta get them the I gotta get their feet wet. No no, bruh. that's not gonna happen. It's already. Trucking is already a dangerous field. It's already dangerous out here. And you putting not only not only the trainers, the fresh out of the box. Hold on. Okay, I, I, I put it down somewhere. I put it down somewhere and and I lost it. But the fresh out of the box. The fresh out of the box trainer. And and a, a fresh greenhorn trainee together on the open roads. Scary, right? Scary, right? There's a lot of accidents that, that, that's, that's in trucking. That's, that's fats. You see what I'm saying? That is fats. Maybe it's inexperienced drivers. Maybe inexperienced trainers that's training the new drivers. I don't know. If you got if if you got the experience, then by all means, you got this passion, then by all means, do the damn thing. But if you don't, I suggest you not to. D Thornton says, "Man, TB, I love you, bro, but I don't honestly I but I I do. But honestly, being a trainer can be dangerous cuz people People, humans are crazy, and I truly take my hat off and have much respect for the people that do it. But one wrong move and shit goes bad fast. But like I said, I truly respect those that do it because y'all the real MVPs out here. But money ain't everything to me, though. <laughs> I agree. Money is not everything. Me personally, like I said, I I don't think you should be training fresh out of the box. At least give it a year or two, at least. All right? Give it a year or two to do it. Then when you feel comfortable, then knock it out. You should feel comfortable with the company. You should know a little bit about the company just a little you should know a little bit about the company before you even jump into training if you can't tell let's say the trainee comes to you let's say johnny comes to you hey uh johnny uh hey uh mickey uh what do you do here what do you do that what what's this about what's that about and mickey can't explain it to you then he's not a good trainer. 
if anybody, if you, if you're a new jack in the game that's coming into the game, and if any trainer can't tell you nothing about the company itself that 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 he's that he's training for, he's not a good trainer. Leon says that's why I jumped out of the game. I was I was a new team driver. Then they started lowballing me and my co-driver with the miles. Hmm. I don't know what that got to do with training, but you know, as far as the trainer goes, the trainer is going to get over. The trainer is getting over like a fat rat. Fat rat. Fat rack. Fat rack. Rats on rats, fat rat. Yes, yes. My man Zach says, I just started training. Nice to have a second person. Plus, he's actually listening. Now, that is good. If, if, you, if you are a qualified trainer and you get that trainee that, that wants to learn, then that's a, that's a good fit. You get a lot of these drivers out here. That's that's coming into the game that think they are Mr. No it fucking all. You know, they don't want to listen to what you got to tell them. They think they already know how to drive because they already spent three or four weeks at the school. Look, let me tell you. Let me tell you something right quick. When you get when you when you get your certificate after you after you graduate out of out of truck driving school, you 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 went to there, you you alley docked, you you parallel park, you did your crossover, and and you did this, and you did that, and then you was in the street, you you drove in the street with maybe about four or five guys in the truck, and y'all had to y'all had to switch at at any other point with the instructor that's in the truck with you, then you you get your certificate, then you go get your driver's uh, your your CDL. Then you come to a trucking company. You think you know it all. Throw all that shit out the window. Take your right hand. Raise down that window with your, I mean, raise down that window with your left hand. And with your right hand, throw everything that you learned in school out the window. Because when you come out here, when you come out here, it's going to be totally different. You're going to get into situations that, hey, they ain't teach us that. They ain't teach us how to slide tandles. They ain't teach us how to couple. They ain't teach us uh, when you get into uh, get into a shipper or a receiver. They ain't teach us that. No, they didn't. They only taught you enough. They only taught you enough just to get your license. And it's up to the trainer, the qualified trainer. He's the one that's supposed to get you over to the next level. He's the one that's supposed to get you to the next level. Let's see. Uh, what's this? Facilitator? What's this? Mike Light's uh, facilitator? Facilitator is what some companies will call their trainers, instructors. It is it is it's as if they know that they are inadequate and in actually at actually training people. You have got to focus and work hard for the things you want. Yes, you do. You got to if you want something out here bad, if you want something bad, you got to stay focused to get it. That's that what brings me back to to the beginning of the podcast. Did you guys are you guys uh, continuing whatever uh, whatever uh, New Year's re uh, re resolutions that you guys got. It's two months down. Two months is down, and you got ten more months to go. It'll be it'll be in the middle of the summer before you even know it. I'm just saying, just saying. Palm Don says, nope, I won't train. I moved my truck first time to, I wait. He said, nope, I won't train. I'll move my truck first time I see the money decline because I said no to training. I agree. I agree. The, 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 you know, I, Johnny, 
Let me go back to Johnny. Johnny was with the Sopranos Trucking Company. And, um, and Sopranos told him that in order to make some money, in order to make some money, you got to go into training. I, I need you to train this cat how to uh, how to back up in the back up and bump these dots, Johnny. But Soprano, I only got six months. I can't do it. Terrence Trope says CR, CRT Covenant has an account set up specifically for students and trainers. Trainers actually have their own dispatchers. Yeah, Covenant. If you if you want to make some money, at least that's what Covenant says, you should consider being a trainer. Same thing with CR England. Now, if you guys know that CR England has three bunk trucks, you don't believe me? You don't believe me? Hold on right quick. Y'all y'all don't believe me. You don't believe me? Hold on. Three bunk. Hold on. Three bunk trucks. Y'all don't believe me? Here you go. Let me see. Y'all gotta y'all as always, y'all gotta bear with me because my YouTube is always on the fritz. I'm able to bring it up, but the video, here we go. It always got a buff. get inside the truck bro we, we we just we need to get inside the truck the top cabinet above the open shelf there mm -hmm. that's gone that's actually gone on both sides so you do have the cabinet down below i know some of the trucks come with it some don't so you got the drawer in here probably a foot of space in between the back bunk and the front bunk. Look at so this is what it looks like up above. And then you got the back bunk that obviously that hasn't changed. The lower bunk that hasn't changed. On the driver's side, you still have three bunk trucks. And I believe Covenant the way that I don't think Covenant has three bunks, but the trainer, the, the trainer for Covenant do train two students at a time too. I think uh I think what they do, they 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 you know do they do they they do their hours or whatever, and then at the end of the night they go to a hotel or something like that. Two bunks, three bunk trucks. I mean that's 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 more money that that is more money in 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 the trainer's pocket which is which is okay but if that trainer is qualified to train two people at a time that's probably but two bunk trucks though I mean just saying just saying Uh, let's see. The the engage few says four hundred miles a night. Shit. I'm just fine. I'm just finishing my training at Prime, and I feel like a bum if I don't do six hundred and twenty a night. My personal best night shift was six hundred and sixty three miles. I'm gonna be. I'm going to be hating life when I start driving a truck governing that 58 to 62 miles. I feel you, bro. I mean, if you do a personal best at 662 miles, I mean, that's that's good. That's average. 
You know what I'm saying? But that's like I said, as far as the trainee, trainee, trainee go, that's that's miles that he's getting. One hundred percent. See, the trainees, they only they it's good it's a win win for the company. Because the trainees don't get paid nothing but maybe a hundred dollars a hundred dollars a day, maybe five hundred dollars a week. That's about it. And especially if you're a lease driver, that's coming that pay is coming directly into your settlement and it's going right you and you'll pay it out to the 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 trainee. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, look. I'm just saying. Just saying. Faye the Faye Faye the male. Or wait. Faye the female trucker says, it's good to become a trainer. I did it, but never again. <laughs> Why though? Why, why did you become a trainer and why did you figure out that you didn't want to do it again? There is a lot of reasons, a lot of reasons why, why you will start to train, you will do it, and then you'll jump out of it. It's, it. It could be a number of reasons. Like I said, if you want to train, that's all well and fine. I feel that you should at least get about two years, maybe a little bit more, but not brand new. <laughs> Fresh out the gate. I don't think I don't think brand new fresh out the gate trainers should be training. I'm just saying. That's that's I don't know. That's that's how I feel about it. All right, y'all. Well that's it. That's my thoughts. My uh that's my thoughts. That's today's uh, responding to comments, man. If you guys, if you do want to train, if you feel like, if if you feel like you want to make some extra money, you got to do, you got to do what's right for you, man. You got to do what is right for you. And if, and if leasing the truck to make all, I mean, make more money, and then training on top of that to make more money, and if this is all that you're coming out here for is for the money. You, you got to do what you got to do. You know? You got to do what you got to do. I, there's some points that my man said that, that, that was, you know, that was key as far as making the most money where you can, you know, as being a trainer. But there is money to be found here in trucking. You just got to find it. You just got to work hard to find it. It's not going to find you. I can guarantee you that. You're going to go, if you're brand new, you're a new jack, you're coming in, you are going to go at least maybe two or three companies before you even find the right company that will take care of you financial-wise. Just remember there is, just remember this. There is five, one, two, three, four, five, maybe three, five. I don't know. Let me think. There is five reasons when you come into the game and five reasons. Well, no, five reasons why you in the game, but why you in it, you will want to leave it. I think. And if money is one of them, then you got to find a place that's going to pay you what you worth. So, it's not necessarily that you got to go into training to try to make some money. If you can't find a company that's paying you well, then it's, con it's time to continue to look for that company to pay you well. I'm just saying. All right, guys, if you like content like this and more, I do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell along with that all button for more content like this. Man, I'm telling you, like I said, it is hot in here, and I wasn't gonna make, I wasn't gonna make this uh, video, I wasn't gonna make this uh, podcast long because it is hot. But for you guys, I would do it for you. 
I'm coming through. That's what I'm saying. I'll come through for you guys. If you guys want to holler at me, if you guys got some topics, get at me in the in the Gmail. Lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. Hit me up on the DM on Instagram. Hit me up on the new podcast page on Facebook. Just type in Lockout Men Podcast. If you guys have any questions, any topics that y'all want me to talk about, any questions you want me to answer for you, if you want to come on and share your stories with me, leave it in the Gmail, leave it in the comments, leave it in the DM, and I will get back at you, man. Just listen here. I do appreciate everything that you guys do for the channel. I really do appreciate it. We about to touch 6,000, so thank you very much for 6,000 subscribers. We're on our way to 10. Help a brother out because when I get to 10, I'm telling you, when I get to 10, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something for you guys. Share the video. Like the video. Subscribe to the video. Come on. Hook a brother up. If you want to donate to the channel, there is the coffee app, which is in the description below, along with the PayPal, along with the cash app. Hook a brother up for some coffee. I'm just saying. I will talk to you guys later. Y'all have a beautiful, blessed day, man. I'm about to go out here and enjoy this sun. You guys take it easy, and I'll come back at you with another video podcast. This is Lockout Men, and I'm signing out. Peace.